what is up guys we are back on the miata uh last video talked about the the old tripod making a bunch of noise mostly because this thing just covers everything up but i should be getting a new xo case or whatever and a mic hopefully soon that'll help out a ton but um today the mishimoto radiator is coming in for or not radiator the radiator fan um I've already been sweating, my hair's all, probably got some transmission fluid in it. Uh, I got the PPF frame on. Uh, it's in there, transmission's mounted to it, drive shaft mounted, all the sensors are plugged back in. Fluid is in the transmission and also my floor. Uh, banjo bolts came in for the brake calipers. So I'm going to bleed the brakes for now until the radiator shows up, which should be like an hour or two. I'll get all the, the brakes bled and working and then the only thing I have to do before I drop it is get a spring compressor pull these front shocks out put the new ones on and she's going to the ground she'll have a test drive it'll be open headed for now just to go forward and back out here and get her make sure everything's going correctly and yeah clean up the shop definitely want to move it out and clean up a try to hit it hard where I can actually have everything out at one time. All this stuff will be easier to move around, maneuver around and stuff. But I'm excited, guys. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cut it here, and then once that radiator comes in, we will time lapse that bad boy, start her up, and yeah, make sure the tires spin, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we'll be back in a minute. Peace. This is a plus for uh, non-ABS cars. Literally. Just see the air coming up right now. Whoop. All by itself. It's pretty, very helpful, especially in the green car, because I don't usually have, I'm usually working on it by myself, because Heather's at work, and I'm just wrenching. But um, if you put the bottle, the hose, above the output, it'll just gravity down and push all the air out. And usually, if it's a lot of air, You'll see this go down drastically, but it's not really going down yet. It's just kind of creeping. It was a minute ago. It, it took a whole thing when I went on the other side. But I've already got the fronts just to do the rears. But I'm going to take my sweet time on it get all that air out. So I'll probably go and do like four or five trips around doing the water bottle thing until I don't see any more air. And it's, it'll probably break harder than mine does. So. <laughs> As you can see, the Miata is on the ground. Uh, the radiator fan didn't show up yesterday, so I did every single thing else. The front struts, bleeding the brakes, the clutch, which I just went ahead and double checked. Um, yeah, and can't move because the fan, the radiator shroud's not here yet, so that sucks. And then, so I cooled off because it's 100 degrees this week. And freaking brown Santa. Brown Santa showed up. Ooh. <clears throat> so I was going to do a OEM radiator fan, just like those two way back there on this car. Those brand new are 90 a piece, 95 a piece plus shipping was like 215. Well, Mishimoto had a sale for their, oh, their radiator kit, which is a sh aluminum shroud, dual fan, comes with a little foam, some mounting bolts, the foam for the uh, square to kind of make a perfect suction vacuum. Um, I got all this on Amazon. I don't know if it's still on sale now, but, uh, well, hold up. Oh, I messed up again. On Amazon for $175. Oh, it's super light too compared to the other one. Oof. Dude, I need a Mishimoto for the green car. Holy cow. This is my first thing. I mean, I've, I know Mishimoto is a great brand. This is my first time ever like messing with their products. And uh, I'd have to say they are pretty dope. They come with the plugs, which mount or match over here. The one I cut right here. And the clip right down there 
So yeah, we're gonna put this sucker together. So I got the fan on. Uh, I did notice, oh, let me put that on before I forget, that this plug doesn't match the plug that I currently have. So I don't know if this was a pre-existing cut or what. That's the compressor plug, so it's not that plug. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna probably just get a plug made myself, order a, a thing, splice into them, and then polarize each one. But uh, yeah. Not a big deal, it'll run off one fan for now. I mean, I'm not driving it, just gonna drive in the garage, or actually, we are gonna drive it out here. Um, overall, pretty self explanatory. Uh, I actually didn't use the bolts it came with, they were, I don't know, they were tiny, but when they were threading on, they were they weren't tightening. Um, so I went with the OEMs, and I did notice it's like a stretch down, it's really tough to get it on there. Um, I don't know if this need to drill a little bit on the bottom so they can hook on and then tighten down. But I mean, I got them on now, so I'm not worried about it. But if you're ever wanting a radiator, I do recommend it. Um, well, actually, not, I don't know yet. We're about to start her up and find out. But uh, I like it. It looks clean. I mean, look at the space. It's super thin, and obviously way better than those. But uh, I did match the plug with the wire I cut. So I know that that's the other plug. And I might even do a, a wire splice just to make sure before I order a plug. I don't think I have any. I might. Uh, no, I do not have any more plugs. Um, I may even just solder it on there too for now. No, I have, I have plugs. Never mind, I lied. I have plugs. We're good. But uh, yeah, let's get this thing pulled out and see what she does, shall we? She's a tad bit too loud out there, but boy, does she run. I am relieved, happy that I'm done. I mean, I gotta do the timing and I gotta do some throttle response. It's idling too low. It's got its own computer, which is interesting when you push it in the gear and stuff to idle up automatically. All that's disabled right now. And I gotta tune that in or plug that fuse in. But yeah, we're gonna clean the garage up. Little Miata lives. There's a wasp. I'm walking backwards. Yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, though, guys. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Probably just do some dialing in, get her all dialed up, get ready to rip the interior out. But thanks for watching this, the video. I mean, not the video. The what do they call it? The series of the Miata. Um, more to come. 
definitely more to come. Also, I went ahead and changed my name on YouTube to Build by Built by Belt. I don't know, I thought it was catchy. I may end up just putting a gaming channel up in the future. Um, it's weird when you stream the algorithm, people were in my chat like, this is gaming videos in an automotive section and it's all, it's all whacked out, so. We'll worry about that another day. Um, it's a victory. I'm gonna head on and out and leave it here and clean the shop up. You guys have a good week. Stay cool. It's gonna be like 102 or something Friday. Y'all y'all cool off. Uh, take a relaxing weekend. The deuces, guys. Don't forget to hit a like, subscribe if you want more, because there's more to come. Especially for her, it, him, whatever, she thing. It's, it's happening. Later, guys.